We did more things and more things to do. Check. Passion, practice, perseverance. That is the thing. I'm seeing some wise investments here. That benefit's good to last. It is all too common to fall to one of the chosen enemies of Valhalla. Don't lose heart. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we are in excellent hands. I think I know why I fight Thor's sons. Do you tell? Like Atreus, they were children of a destroyer. Had I not changed, had I raised him as I was raised, subject only to authority, perhaps his fate would have been no better than theirs. So, they reflect a bad road not taken? A fate avoided? Perhaps. I also feel pity. Failed by their father, sent to die by their uncle, and belittled in death by their grandfather. What chance did they ever have? Am I hearing guilt, brother? Some. Perhaps imagining a fair fight is to honor them as life did not. Oh! <laughs> 
to speak about Sigrid. She was eager to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested, and you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrid made her cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. I believe your target's on the battlefield there. When you need it. I think Valhalla's burden is satisfied. I should be unlocked now, shall we? Oh! <laughs> 
That was demanding. Carry on. Valhalla is a place of constant flux. Adaptability gives us a means to navigate the uncertainty. No shame in making things a wee bit easier if you can. Well done, sir. Shield maiden. Please accept this. Never doubted you'd get there. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. Proceed. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. <clears throat> Valhalla selects your opponents for a reason. Embrace the challenge, but know you can prevail. I must admit, Sigrun, Valhalla isn't exactly what I imagined. You're experiencing only a very small part of it. One that's independent and unconnected from the rest of Valhalla. Elsewhere, there are larger neighborhoods where the dead reside. Socializing, playing games, drinking, fighting. But one must earn the right to join their fallen comrades. New arrivals run a gauntlet. A personalized, self-contained version of what you're doing. It's meant to help the dead process the lives they lived. Those who are worthy who have found some measure of closure, are allowed to move forward. Those who are unable to resolve their lives are forever trapped in their personal Valhalla. Some just prefer to keep fighting here. Oh! <laughs> 
Is that a key? One from my past. Did it unlock something important? Only a memory. Seems Valhalla thinks you have a story to tell. Later. <laughs> Sigrun. We stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled, the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you speak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean... There's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But I had to name it so boldly, uh, it took me a bit off guard. Valhalla singled out for you. Interrupt the summoner. 
Then the path should be unlocked. Let's make our way up. <laughs> Kratos, the key you found. Who was it? What did it unlock? It belonged to a boat captain I met during a battle on the Aegean Sea. His ship was part of a fleet under attack by a Hydra. The key unlocked his quarters, where I heard women screaming for help. Ah, yes. The story of your fight with the three-headed sea serpent. You impaled one of its heads on the ship's mast, was it? Yes. But that Sorry, happens. brother, but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. Find your
head back to brighten your day. wanted them dead, dead you've made them.
one before it closes in. <clears throat> Well, if I have any advice, I think it's high time to invest in some personal upgrades. The resilient warrior dances with change, easily adjusting to its rhythm. These could really help you in there. Don't let Valhalla's chosen opponents get into your head, or else you'll fall to them again. again. More to the story? Yes. When there is time. Sigrun, I am still waiting for the point where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. 
a sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. Is it worth what it'll cost you? I wonder. The route to the higher area ought to be open now. You're 
got fire, straight on. They will fire. Rock! 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 Tell us about this boat, Captain. If you needed his key to save others, why does it seem to bother you so? Your actions in this case seem justified. The was swallowed by the Hydra before I was able to kill it. When I entered its maw to retrieve the key, the Captain had somehow survived, dangling over a fall that would surely kill him. I saw the terror in his eyes as he fought to hold on, and in relief when he believed I would save him. Instead, I took the key and dropped him to his death. And it was all for nothing. The women were dead by the time I reached them. Specific beats the Valhalla is prepared to reward, is it? Meet once more, Coast of Sparta.
Santos. You ship skipper. Kill whatever is making that sound.
sight. Siphon attack. again. Still not used to that. Kratos, you made it back. Good. I have one last weapon to show you. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. Fight! Select one's not going! Uh, 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 
The Valor can go the distance, I hope. I said you're a bot. With Valhalla before we re enter, make things a bit more hospitable inside. <laughs> to adapt is to lean into the alchemy of turning adversity into advantage. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? How can you resist investing in yourself? A wise investment, brother. It seems Tyr hasn't lost his edge, but I know in my heart you are the strong one. again. We will talk later. Aye, obviously. But as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone, and then living out their slow realization of that truth? I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. If anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe.
Valhalla's got a bounty on that one. Valhalla will be impressed. Good. The route to the higher area ought to be open now. <laughs> Brother, you've told me many times of mortals you killed when in the gods' service. What is it about this boat, Captain? It would have cost me nothing to show him mercy. His life was in my hands. To be so casually cruel, I... This man did nothing to me, and I treated his life as nothing. He was not a god who would manipulated me nor bound me in service. I cannot hide behind my thirst for revenge. He was just a man, afraid for his life. Attacked and swallowed by a monster he had no hope of defeating. But the Hydra was just an animal. I showed him 
what a true monster looked like. <laughs> Helios has returned. Right side, 
bastard! Incoming charge! Great job not hurrying. You do like your fights tougher after all. What's right, moron? Behind you, idiot! salutes your commitment to violence. Well done. That's it. Fight. Fight. 
On your guard! Arms up! Boom, hooks it! The last one's going! Inside exactly. Fear, defeat, vanity, hatred. Amplifying what the gods already possess. But what else, Kratos? Come on! Ah! 
Kratos. <laughs> 